All right, so welcome back to the mathematics section of the civil FE exam review. In this video, we're going to be looking at single variable calculus. And so I have a, some practice problems for you all. And so I want to dive right into them. So this one says, um, perform the indicated function evaluations for f of x is equal to 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared or f of 4. So what are we given? We're given a function all right and um, we're at and the function in this case is this f of x equals 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared. And we're told to find uh, the function for f of 4. And so what, uh, what does that mean, right? And so what it means is, is for this particular function, when x equals 4, what do we get for our answer for this function. So are there any formulas needed? No, we're given the formula that we'll need right in the question. All right, so what is our answer? So we're good, we're just gonna plug four in uh, everywhere that we see at x. So f of four for this particular function is equal to three minus five, times four, because there's an X, minus two times four squared. And I put it in parentheses to kind of separate things. All right, so um, I get negative 32 minus 23, all right. And once I put this into my calculator, I get negative 49. So my answer is in fact D. All right, let's look at number two. So for number two, it says the difference quotient of a function f of x is defined to be f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Compute the difference quotient of the given function. So what are we given? Uh, the function, which is here. And we're also given a difference quotient. And that difference quotient is just kind of uh, this uh, f of x plus h. It's basically this. All right, so what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find uh, what the function value with, would be if we plugged it in to this difference quotient. So uh, compute difference quotient. All right, any formulas needed? No, we're given everything we need. So basically you wanna split this into a few different pieces, right? So um, I'm just gonna highlight how we wanna break this up. So gonna break it up into three different parts. F of x plus h 
gonna do that. Then we're gonna subtract just our regular f of x. And then we'll be left with one more, which will be just h, right? All right. So let's start this. So um when you see f of something, then we want like f of x plus h, whatever's in those parentheses, we want to plug into our function. So for this orange piece, uh, since whatever's in the parentheses is x plus h, then we want to bring that to our function. So we're gonna say uh, f of x plus h into our new function which is here right we're going to say 4 times x plus h minus 9 all right so then we get 4x plus 4 h minus 9 is the orange piece okay now what's the green piece well the green piece f of x right for our new function which is we're plugging in x 4 times x minus 9 so it's the same thing ultimately um and then for the bottom piece h h equals h there's no function or f of anything so we don't need to uh, change that around so the last piece is just combining uh, these values together for our uh, difference quotient so we're going to take uh, basically this whole value and plug it in to this we're going to take our green value and plug it into that and then we're going to divide by h so I'll show you what I mean because that may not have been clear so for the top top portion we'll say 4 x plus 4 h minus 9 okay we'll go over to green and then so we're subtracting minus 4 x minus 9 notice how I have it in parentheses so this piece is in parentheses and notice uh, why I put a minus right so this minus you need to subtract the whole thing and it's where am I getting that minus from I'm getting that minus from here right And then all over H. All right, so what does this simplify to? Well, my minus 4X cancels with the 4X. Um, my plus 9, a negative times a negative times a negative is a positive. So that turns into plus nine so these cancel negative nine plus a nine is zero and so i'm left with four h over h and so my h's are going to cancel and i'm just left with four my answer is b all right let's go to Number three. All right, so this one says determine all the roots of the given function. 
All right, so the given function is x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth minus 32x to the third. All right, now, uh, what information are we given? Well, we're given a function. And we want to find the roots. Are any formulas needed? No, or given the formulas that we need. But there is some prior knowledge that you need to know. All right, so as you're solving this, the prior knowledge that you would need to know is what are roots, right? Um, roots. And so I'll just draw what this looks like, right? This function that they gave us may have had is probably something crazy like this, right? May not be that shape. The point I'm trying to make is, is that the roots is where your function is equal to, uh, your y value is equal to zero. So that would, where I point it to would be a root. Another place would be, that would be another root at this circular spot. Uh, here would be a root and there would be a root. Okay, so that's just to kind of give you some context. All right, so for this function, where does y equal zero? So y is equal to x to the fifth minus uh, 4x to the fourth minus 32x to the third. So I know if I plug in uh, x equals zero, then uh, zero to the fifth minus four times zero to the fourth minus 32 times zero to the third all gives me y equals zero. So I know x equals zero is definitely gonna be a root. And so if you check your answers, you could try to eliminate, but all of them have x equals zero. So that's kind of your given. So how, how do I find my other roots, right? Well, we just wanna break this up. Let's break this up and basically factor out x. That's where you can kind of get down to your, your simplest form of this problem. So um, how, how many x's can we factor out of this problem? So um, all of these, each of the little sections, this and this, um, all have x's and the highest power is to the third. So I can factor out x to the third and get x to the third times x squared minus 4x um, minus 32, right? All right. Okay, can I factor this down any more? Well, I believe that I can. Um, if I have, um, can anything be multiplied to get 32 and add it together to get negative four. All right, and so yes, eight times four is 32. I know I can multiply those, but eight, um, a negative eight plus four gives me negative four, so. So x to the third, let's erase that because that looks horrible. All right x to the third 
times x minus 8 times x plus 4 is y. Okay, so can I factor this anymore? My answer would be no. Um, but what can I plug, what value can I plug in for x to make this function equal 0? Well, if I plug x equal 8 equals 8 and that makes uh this area right, go to 0 and then my whole answer is 0 cuz anything times 0 is 0 right so y is equal to 0 and so that's another root x equals 8 and just from that I don't have to do anything else um, because I see that um, 8 should probably be included into my answer choices and my answers should be C but if we just wanted to take the extra time. Uh, also, if you plug x equals negative 4 in to here, right, then your function again is going to equal to 0. So uh, c is our answer. Hopefully that made some sense. All right. Let's... Um, this is the end of this section. In the next section, we're going to uh, go through vector operations.